Welcome to Wagtail Wednesday. Pocket scrapers. Pocket scrapers. How many of you have pocket scrapers? It's a good idea to have pocket scrapers. Uh, I'm sure most of us have the razor that fits on the pole. But pocket scrapers is what I really want to talk about. Because it's always in your pocket and you always have it. And if you're doing a lot of scraping or construction cleanup, you don't have to keep taking the scraper off the pole unless, of course, you have two scrapers that fit on a pole. But I know this may not be wider than most of the five inch to six inch scrapers. But when you're using it in the hand and you're down low, it's easy to leave that on the pole for your next window to scrape. And then you have this for all head level. Most of my frequent and route work, they're not gonna put tape up beyond you could reach. You know, uh, that's, I have yet to run into that situation. So everything is head level. So I don't really remember when's the last time I used a scraper that needed to be fitted on a pole. Every once in a blue moon, I break it out. But I already know beforehand. And I keep this scraper in my pocket. This I got at Lowe's. Or I think Home Depot. One of the two. And uh, it's made by Unger. It's a very good blade. It's a very good blade. I keep two scrapers, two pocket scrapers, one for tent and then one for glass. Now the one for tent, yes, there is a scraper for tent. Bam. I keep this in my wallet. I mean, not wallet, my pockets. Now, when you see food particles like that on tent, you don't want to go picking with your fingernail, even though you could. But let's say there's a lot. You'll be picking for a while. You know what I mean? We're, we're trying to talk about time here. So what you want to do is you want to use that and get it off. You know? Same thing if you have, like it is now, you got pizza stuff that's been caked on the mullions. You don't want to go taking a sharp razor to that. So if you use a, a plastic razor, you won't be digging up their, their caulking or their molding. Even if it's on the framework, you know, you can use that without damaging the painted finish. So these are highly recommended. I don't never hear enough people talking about these, but it is def it's in a definite in our industry especially if you're doing construction cleanup because you're less likely to scratch a glass if you have a chunk of cement on the glass. You can take this plastic scraper and just knock the chunk off. And then you could finalize it with your, uh, your regular blade. You feel me? You got to get the bulk of it off first, and then you can finalize it you shouldn't have, if you do it properly, you won't scratch the glass anyway. But uh, as with anything, scraping anything, you should always have a good idea to have one of those waivers, you know, that, that, you, that they sign to let them know that it's a potential uh, cause for scraping the glass and that you're not responsible. You know what I mean? But... Uh, we're professionals, so we use our best judgment. If we think we're going to scratch the glass, then we just don't touch it, or we tell the customer, because not all glass is the same. So you got to be mindful of that. But uh, let's go clean some windows. Judge me. This is again a moral creation.